Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for June 5th, 2023. Well, this video probably sounds a little bit different. Hopefully, it doesn't look too terribly different. I am actually recording live from a dorm room at Doan University where I am taking a class this week. So, Hopefully you're able to um, hear and see just as you normally would. There's not going to be quite as many doodads or anything like that on the video and it'll likely be a little bit shorter. So how about we settle in, let's buckle up, and let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Taking a look at what happened on Friday, my goodness, the bulls were in control, just really ripping to the upside um, despite some really nasty uh, jobs numbers that kind of showed that the jobs situation is still overheating in the country and may bring in some additional activity from the Fed. But that being said, we ripped to the upside and you can see we broke through these resistance levels in the chart that I have marked on the chart and just ripped right through these. Now, Remember, I'm not going to turn these green until we get proof. You know, go, moving up is one thing. Proving that you can hold it is another. So if we can prove that we can hold and then follow through to the upside, these will turn green. So if the bulls were to find inspiration today here on the diamonds, I'm going to look for a retest of this area right up in here. You can see if we move right up into this area, that would be... Um, an interesting test of resistance you can see that's fairly substantial and if they bounce on through that then I'm going to be looking for a test up in here and that opportunity that we could actually break out here on the diamonds if we were to take a look at uh, if the bears find inspiration this is where things could get interesting we went up so far so fast we're overextended in the market and if we were to pull back I want to show you that well there's not a whole lot. Now we could find a little bit of price support right here and hold in that area, but I wouldn't be too surprised if the bears really start to take off here that we can pull all the way back into that area of price support. Let's take a look at our SPY. Um, SPY also just a raging move to the upside, breaking out completely. Our next resistance level in the chart is right up here. We're close to testing that in the chart so you want to keep an eye on that area if we can break through there well then we're starting to look for these um, additional high points here in the chart um, interestingly enough that after such a big bullish move futures are not really they're kind of flat this morning not super super strong and there is a big concern about what happens on the liquidity of the market when the treasury starts releasing all of these uh, bonds to refill our coffers so watch that there's several um, economic folks out there um, really warning that there could create it could create a liquidity crisis and could maybe even create some um, problems for the regional banks so watch that carefully now if the bears were to find inspiration unfortunately we move so strong to the upside the really only thing we could do is pull back into here uh, would be the next level of price support and that would be a pretty painful pullback if that were to occur so just kind of keep that in mind here on these charts if we take a look at our QQQ now QQQ although the the market was pretty much in monster mode on Friday QQQ struggled just a little bit. It is the most overbought index in the market. And if those bulls continue to find inspiration, well, I think we're going to press right on up to potentially these levels right up here that I've got shown in the chart. And up into this level would be the next area of price resistance, which would still be a pretty big move in um, the QQQ. If the bears find inspiration, well, then once again, I'm looking for a retest maybe of down in here to test these price support levels in the chart. Let's take a look at our IWM. IWM had a huge day on Friday, breaking through all kinds of resistance, just ripping to the upside. Now, that being said, once again, I'm not going to turn this line red 
or excuse me, green, unless we get some proof that we're going to hold this area to move on higher. Keep in mind, there is at this point no upside daily trend. We need to have some kind of higher low placed in this chart, some place to give us that upside trend in the chart. So watch that carefully in here. If we were to reverse and pull all the way back, you can see how that could really mess with the psychology of the market if we were to pull back into this range. So watch that carefully here today. This is a very overextended situation in the short term, and it really wouldn't be an all, all that big surprise to see a little bit of rest or pullback coming in the market today. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX just took off like a rocket shot. Oops, there we go. VIX just took off like a rocket shot uh, on Friday, dropping us all the way down into this level to 14 handles. Now, once you get start getting down here in the 14 to anywhere between 12 and 15, I think, you're running into a complacency issue here in the market. So if the bulls can continue to find inspiration, well, you can see. Uh, about the only place we can go is to some of these lows down here um, into the 10, 11 area here. That's a pretty extreme complacency point in the market. And considering the details of our economics, uh, the bad data points that we had on the economy last week, um, pretty remarkable to see so much strength here in the VIX. Now, if the bears find inspiration, well, then I would look for a reversal back up here, maybe a retest of some resistance levels up here around that 15, 16 area. And if they break through that, we'll be back in that trading range that we've been stuck in for so long. Let's take a look at our... Um, T2107, or excuse me, T2122. If we take a look at our T2122, and I apologize, guys, I'm working from a single screen here, so it is a little bit difficult to transfer back and forth. But as you can see here, T2122 is suggesting that we have reached an overbought condition in the market. Um, extremely overbought as a matter of fact and it, we could push maybe just a little bit higher uh, with a little bump for uh, in the pre-market uh, pop here this morning but then I would start looking for a little bit of a resting pullback uh, in the chart so keep in mind if you're long trades it would be a really good idea to close down some of those long positions as a matter of fact uh, long position that we were in in right way options on Boeing, we closed that out, or at least I closed that out for an 80% profit on Friday. And I would expect some kind of a rest or pullback because if the bulls find inspiration, you'll notice that they just don't have too far to go. There's just not much room up there. But if the bears were to come in and grab on, we've got a big downside opportunity here in the T2122. If we take a look at our T2108, T2108 had a really nice improvement. And we've been talking about this trading range here for quite a while. And as you can see, breaking through that resistance up there, and that's a good sign here for the market. And that's assuming we can hold it as support. What we don't want to see is that reversal to come right back down. If we can rest, consolidate, hold this area of price support, and then bounce off of that, then the bulls would be in control. If they pull right back down into this range, well, then we've got that problem here of uncertainty. And there may be some reasons why we could do that. And that's just based on liquidity um, in the market and if some of the banks start running into trouble. So watch that uh, carefully. If we take a look at our T2107, T2107 also had a good day yesterday, but not quite as good. Um, you can see we've got 45% of the stocks above their 200-day moving average. If we look across here, we've still got quite a little bit of resistance in that chart. See if we can break on through there. So watch that carefully. If they can pop on through, if the bulls find inspiration, that's awesome. If the bears find inspiration, we back away from there. That might be a little bit of concern for the market. Um, assuming that that trend would still hold, but back down into that trading range. Our T2101, big pop here on Friday, created this big shift to the upside, showing that momentum starting to pick up here in the market. A lot of enthusiasm came in on Friday. We'll see if that can continue once the realities of this market um, 
really start to um, weigh on uh, the mind of traders. So watch that carefully as we approach those resistance levels. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today and let's see if our economic calendar has some information that can help us out for today. First off, let me get back to my normal chart and then let's excuse me here for some of this wrangling around working off of one screen is difficult. So this morning we have a very light day on the economic calendar as you can see not much going on here. We've got um, factory orders could move the market but probably not majorly move the market. Um, ISM services also today that we have a consensus on so kind of keep an eye on those but one of the things oh by the way the PMI final composite is in there as well but one of the things you might want to um, recognize is that we've had a lot of bad data points here recently the market just said we don't care and kept moving higher so that could still be the case looking in here we've got a three month a six month bond auction and investor movement index which nobody's going to care about looking into the rest of the week you can see Tuesday is a really light week or day with some uh, bond activity announcements and not much of anything else we've got um, Wednesday we've got international trading goods which of course can be market moving along with that petroleum status Thursday, we've got jobless claims to be thinking about, um, wholesale inventories, natural gas, uh, and the 30 year bond auction to be paying attention to. And then Friday, very little going on in there to really move the market. So, very light week on the calendar, which means you know anything is possible. Let's um, take a look at what could be happening on our earnings calendar for today. Well, earnings calendar is also going to be very light and not much going on in there. Um, I've only got three notables uh, for today on that calendar. GLTB, whoops. Sorry, wrong symbol guys, just a second. No, that's right. I think I just typed it wrong. Well, I can't seem to get there from here. There we go, GTLB, I just typed it wrong. Uh, GTLB will be one of those notables for today. And notice this chart in here, we've got um, break of that downtrend, which is a good sign, breaking through some resistance right here. So this rest or pullback sets up an opportunity and a good earnings report here could move us right along upside in that trend to the upside. So watch that carefully. Um, next on the list would be SAT, <laughs> for Pete's sake. I think I'm having trouble here this morning. Well, I apologize, guys. Um, SATC is one you may want to be paying attention to, and um, CX, CXM would be uh, an interesting one. I really like this pattern in here um, on the day, setting up into earnings. Nice little cup and handle pattern setting up here with that possibility of good earnings report that could pop on through to the upside. It's not a very expensive chart either, so it might be kind of interesting to a lot of folks. I would pay attention over here. We do have considerable price resistance across this area to be paying attention to, so watch that carefully as that reports today. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up, but before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could also do me that favor and click that thumbs up leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow and i do truly appreciate it um, just kind of keep in mind it'll be hit and miss for me answering questions or anything on the channel because i will be carving all day long and um, won't be able to respond um, too quickly to that information. Let's take a look at um, 
some of these stock setting up. And before we do that, guys, remember these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. Make sure you do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful here in the market. Um, don't over trade this thing. Uh, there is that chance of a pretty substantial pullback and that um, liquidity situation could run into some problems. So that being said, let's take a look at KRE. KRE is that regional bank um, ETF. And looking at that in here, there is that nice bullish pattern here where we push up higher low, push on through to the upside. But I want you to notice we're running into a substantial area of price resistance. And if we start to see a liquidity problem as the treasury kind of drains, drains the banking funds out buying up the short term bonds, I think they're going to issue like 500 billion um, here this week. So watch that carefully and you could see um, KRE start to suffer a little bit more here in the market. So watch carefully on KRE. You might want to put that on maybe a short watch if things were to start to come apart. Now, if we look at XLF, the bigger banking institutions, this is trying to make a change here. So you can see we broke that downtrend here in the chart and trying to show some bullishness. So if we can get through some of this price resistance here and prove to hold, then I would look for that upside opportunity maybe to come in there. But if we were to drift below this, if we were to pull back into here, it might be a little bit of a problem. or It might actually indicate that little bit of a banking situation that could come into play with the issuance of all these treasury bonds. Let's take a look at um, our US dollar. US dollar this morning is strengthening. You can see pretty strong in this move here on the US dollar, getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Well, what that means is our uh, bond yields aren't improving. Uh, they're continuing to get stronger and stronger, which means more and more pressure to those uh, banks and more and more pressure on the consumer out there as well as those rates continue to rise. Another thing that's going to be interesting today to be paying attention to, um, OPEC made its decision that they're allowing some voluntary cuts in production, and that is having some impact on oil stocks. So let's go to um, energy here, XLE, and you can see energy trying to break this downtrend right in here and push to the upside in the pre-market. I would watch that one pretty closely. If that um, can break through and hold that higher low, notice we've got kind of a double bottom right in here. Break through that W pattern, jump up in here and hold, certainly would be some upside opportunities there. Take a look at uh, lows. Interesting move there on Friday on Lowe's. Big pop to the upside. And although these guys didn't report very well, Lowe's and Home Depot, noticing that they're trying to break through the downtrend. Notice we've got an upside trend going on here. So this wedging pattern breaking through. If they can prove to hold up here, then I would look for some upside opportunities. One that you know still kind of surprises me that they're still around is uh, BlackBerry. BlackBerry looking very, very strong here, breaking through resistance, holding in this upside trend. Look for that next opportunity maybe for that to take off and go higher. AVGO, you guys know that there was that collaboration with um, Apple and AVGO going on. Just shot up here in the market and you can notice that we pulled back a little bit. And be a little careful here about just overconfidence that it's gonna hold this price support just yet. But watch that closely. If this continues to rest back into this trend, then I would look for that next opportunity to the upside in the chart. One of the things that is looking really good is in that airline sector. Um, airlines moving up strongly here with uh, consumers willing to spend heavily on travel right now. So watch that closely. Getting very, very close to that trend and move here in the chart. I would watch for that opportunity to maybe move on up and test some resistance levels up there. So with that, guys, hey, I'm going to cut this video off this morning. I'm going to try and get it uploaded. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Be careful. Be safe out there. Have a great one. I wish you all kinds of profits. I'll see you right back here, right and early Tuesday morning. Have a great day, everyone.